Mr. Chairman, thank you so much for your leadership in bringing this legislation to our committee today and to the committee for listening uh, to my thoughts about it. And they are this, New Mexicans and Americans are waiting for us to act and this bill responds to their pleas. We've waited too long to crush the pandemic and recover. New Mexicans and Americans continue to experience the unprecedented loss and suffering and those problems are complex and interrelated. This bill addresses many facets of that loss, from providing funding for survivors of domestic and child abuse, which has increased under the pandemic, to protecting our workers and creating a minimum wage that is consistent across the nation. You know, New Mexicans increased the minimum wage, and it has not hurt small businesses as many threatened. But we need all workers living in all states to have a living wage. This pandemic has exposed and worsened inequities in our education system. We know that all students, but especially low-income students, students of color, Native Americans, English language learners, and students with disabilities have lost from four to 12 months of learning. The bill ensures school districts spend at least 20% of the funds they receive to address learning loss, as set out in the Learning Recovery Act that Chairman Scott uh, and I and others introduced earlier this month. Teachers have taken on an enormous task of teaching hybrid, remote, and in-person in the middle of a pandemic. They teach without sufficient resources and often worry about their safety. Our job, this is our job to support them. And this bill does that by including $130 billion for K-12 through schools. In New Mexico, I expect the State Department of Education to prioritize spending on those most at-risk students, to prioritize the Yazi remedies. You know, our Yazi v. Martinez students must have an adequate education, and these funds can help. The funds we authorize today are an investment in our future, an investment in our children. I look to our future and to receiving the reports next year and those after about how our actions today help solve this crisis of inadequate education. We also desperately need the $150 million included in the bills for schools funded by the Bureau of Indian Education and the $10 million for Native American language. My district is nearly 20% Native American, you know, and they speak Tewa, Towa, Tiwa, Keras, Navajo, Apache, and they learn at BIA operated and funded schools in rural communities. Let me be clear. We've underfunded BIA for years and many Native American students were falling behind even before the pandemic. So this emergency BIA funding is overdue because we failed to live up to our trust obligations for too long. And we must also ensure that the learning recovery funds that I spoke about earlier are available for tribally based programs and that will help tremendously. But we can't talk about education if we don't also talk about childcare. I invite all my colleagues to come to New Mexico one out of every three children in my state lives in poverty. Let's let that sink in. One in three. These are children of working parents in New Mexico who don't have access to reliable, quality, affordable childcare. It affects our economy and our children's development. And this bill allocates a much needed 39 billion to childcare providers. It provi prioritizes assistance to families who can't afford tuition and provides $1 billion to Head Start. As a little girl, I attended Head Start, where I fell in love with learning. Let's make sure that all children have the same opportunity for early childhood education that is nurturing and that is safe. And students can't learn if they're, not, if they're hungry. New Mexico has one of the highest child food insecurity rates in the nation. One of every four children struggle with hunger. The bill invests more than $5 billion to provide food benefits to help families with children who are eligible for free and reduced school lunch. If we listen to our hearts and act from a place of love for our communities, we know that we must help the hungriest families put food on the table. There are many aspects of this bill that I could praise, but I wanted to focus on education, childcare, nutrition, because they are so important to creating opportunities for New Mexicans. Let's join together, let's pass this bill for our teachers, for our students, for our communities, for those most in need. Our work is before us today to say help is on the way. I say in Nuevo Mexico, 
Ores cuando, which means it's time now. It's time now to rescue our schools and our economy. I yield back.